All right. Ooh, it's warm out tonight. We are gonna do some smoked fish and I'm gonna show you a dry brine that I do. Super simple one. Dark, dark or light. Dark sometimes gives it a uh, really dark, nice color. So I'm gonna start out with three rough cups of this. And again, this is a dry brine that, that uh, eventually turns wet. So one part salt three parts sugar. I'm using sockeye this time. So the sockeye, they're they're kind of smaller pieces. They're, they're around two to five pound fish. So they might brine up pretty quick. So I don't want to do a lot of salt. Try only. So about three quarter cup of kosher salt. Coarse kosher, just kosher salt, not table salt. Oh, that's it. So that's our dry brine. Okay. So do this in plastic, not metal. And I'm just gonna start coating the pieces with the dry brine. It's like you're coating fried chicken. And just start layering. These should come out just dark golden brown. So we're gonna let that sit now for, for overnight, definitely overnight. I'm gonna check it in the morning and maybe rotate it early in the morning tomorrow when I wake up around seven or something. And uh, make sure there's all the all the brine is touching all the meat, or else you get these kind of light spots. So here we are. This is what the dry brine turns into. It turns into kind of a soy sauce looking. So you can see how. See how the skin is kind of, it's hard and leathery. It's kind of curled up. Boy, the color on this is just awesome. So what we're gonna do now is rinse this. Rinse this, you can see how that's what the, that's what the dry brine turns into. So we're now gonna rinse this off and lay it out. And notice I kept all the fins, didn't trim any belly. All the collars are intact. I have a collar in my hand right now. All the collars are intact. We're using all the fish, except for the head.
Oh, look at the color on that thing. Oh, beautiful. They look like candy. I know. Isn't it? Oh, this is the candy. Oh, my goodness. We gotta pull the smoker out. Oh, my lanta. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, pretty. But we're not touching right now. Not quite. Now we let them sit. Because we want eventually our goal is to make these sticky. So we'll let them sit probably two to four hours. Okay. Can you hear that? They're sticky. They're sticky like, like sugary sticky. I'm using a Bradley and I'm using Alder. Alder pucks. I got the smoke going first. I got this all preheated. I'm gonna put the larger pieces on this rack, the thicker pieces. Go. So doing this a few times now, um, I just made a mark there. That's for when I'm doing uh, doing like pork or chicken or something uh, that needs to be 200 or higher. And then this mark right here normally keeps me under 150. And that's my goal when smoking. When smoking is any temp under one. 150 so about 110 to 140 is gonna be that's where I'd love to smoke because I can get five to seven hours so I don't want it to get above 150 and I leave that open update I think we're at four hours four hours our first batch out. Beautiful. We have to pick up some cream cheese tomorrow. Ooh, for some dip. Oh, for some dip. The dogs are ready for some too. Real quick to end the video, this is how, what I do after, after smoking. Still really moist. There it is. The smoker might have got a little too hot. That's that's where this bursting of that white 
white stuff is. I forgot what its name is, but uh, so that's that's the smoker got a little too hot at one point, but other than that, it's still moist, good taste, not salty. Thanks for watching. If I can do this, you can do it.